the morning. My eyes are slowly opening, but yeah. yesterday and I was like ah oh, repenting and turning back to God. Let's get to work. read you my intro won't you okay i hope i'll remember to cite this definition because <laughs> that's how you lose marks anyway listen to this since the oxford dictionary defines a philosophy as a theory or attitude that acts as a guiding principle for behavior I'll go ahead and define a design philosophy as a theory or attitude that acts as a guiding principle for design. In this paper, an understanding of human-centered design as well as sustainability as design philosophies will be attained through relevant explanations and examples. All to answer the two questions, what is the biggest contribution that design can make to humanity? And what is the main problem that designers should attempt to solve? I have to end the my Okay, okay. Fit, fit check, fit check. <laughs> I'd get, I am heading to town to do a bunch of things. There's a lot to do. I have a whole list. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. I'm going to several streets. I have not showered. I will shower and I come back because I know. I know. I am going to be sweaty like nobody's business by the time I return. So I should take about an hour and a half. It is about 8.30 now. So I'll be back around 10. Then I'll shower, get ready, and head to school at 11. I haven't finished what I was typing, but I'll be done by tonight. Deadline is midnight. I will be done by tonight. I literally have everything I need on this paper. I'm just typing at this point. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. First things first, I'm heading to Keswick um, on Cardinal Otunga Street to get somebody a Bible. I promised somebody a Bible and it's been about a week so the Lord has provided the money for it so I'm gonna get to the day and I finally have the time to go to town I have another thing that I was supposed to pick on Monday it's currently Wednesday so <laughs> yeah we're gonna pick it today and then buy a bunch of stuff for the room I might show you that when I come back if I have time and that should be it bye Yep, it's for me. Okay, guys, I am back. It is way past 10. I still have to shower and be in school by 11. <laughs> so I'm not gonna show you everything I got today. But um, 
I'll show you what I'm really excited for, and that is the Bible. The rest I'll show you when I come back in the evening. But this one I'm going to give the person in school, so you won't see it if I don't show it to you now. We got the NKJV Gift Bible Standard Print um, by Thomas Nelson. <laughs> I don't know who Thomas Nelson is, but I'm assuming he's like the publisher or something. The words of Jesus are in red. I've always wanted a Bible like this. Um, and yeah, the maps are in full color, apparently. It has a, a, con a cocoa. It has a concordance, I'm assuming, at the back. And it's illustrated. I can't wait to see that. And then, yeah, a ribbon marker, as usual. What Bible doesn't have a ribbon marker? Okay. I saw it online on the Keswick website this is what it looks like i saw it on the keswick website this is its package i hope it's clear it is in the color cinnamon and the leather is soft it's not the hard kind so you can bend it oh i love a good new book Ooh, come on these colors are everything so i saw it online so as I was going into Keswick, I knew this is what I was going for, but it was more expensive on the website, if I'm not wrong, maybe I don't remember very well. So I don't know if the price lowered since I checked the website, <gasps> the ribbon bookmark is even the color of the Bible, oh my gosh. I'm used to red ribbon bookmarks, this one is the same, cinnamon, oh, it's so nice. I want to see the illustrated confidence. I've never... <gasps> wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You need to see this. This is the illustrated concordance. So a concordance is basically like a Bible dictionary. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Any, like when you see Bibles with, I want to look for an example. I can't really see any. But anyway, a concordance is basically a Bible dictionary. So from A to Z, it has all the words you would probably be looking for. You're likely to look for their meanings at the back. This one is illustrated. Mine has a concordance, but it's not illustrated. Mine is NIV. Um, yeah, this is NKJV. I'm really into NKJV these days, so had to get it so i saw it online as i was saying and then as i was going in the only thing i was left to do was just pick a color it was between this one a pink one and um a maroon one i was tempted to take the maroon but that would be if i was buying it for myself so i was like brown is a safe color for a guy so yeah he wants to basically get closer to god and just like dedicate his life to christ it's, yeah yeah you know when when you're born again jesus christ is your lord and savior so we we're having a conversation and we concluded that he believes in jesus christ as his savior but he hasn't committed his how do i say it when you're born again jesus christ is your lord and savior so for him jesus christ is his savior but not lord so lord meaning master as in he's in charge of your life you're simply a servant so he wants both of them instead of just savior where it's you believe he died on the cross for you so yeah i was like first thing you need to get is a bible so yeah i randomly <laughs> said i would buy him one but uh, yeah and yeah lo and behold the lord made sure melissa kept her word another thing you might not see because i'm about to use it is i got a face towel and i have a few complaints I've been needing one for a while because I've been carrying the one I use at home back and forth between school and home. And I was like, no, I need one for home, I need one for school. So I left that one at home. And so I was like, I need to get one in school. Issue, issue I have with this is you don't need to be packing a face towel in a plastic um, bag. It's not necessary at all. Face towels can be sold in the open without packaging. Hey, yeah. yeah nice and soft i like it it's white <laughs> i did not want twice but that's what was available so had to get it yeah so let me go shower i will see you guys in school
hiyo nyelo yako imeka hiyo wigi ime imeka hiyo wigi ya melisa ah wigi ya melisa oh nyelo ya melisa oh my days melisa ata tuweka kwa channel more the prophets more the prophets Vocal warm up, vocal warm up. Happy birthday, Nia Shandrang. Happy birthday, Nia Shandrang. Happy birthday, Nia Shandrang. Happy birthday, Nia Shandrang. Nia Shandrang. Happy birthday, Nia Shandrang. Happy birthday. Iyo ni ke kisi o ugali. Iyo ni ke kisi o ugali. Kata keki. Kata keki. Kata keki tu kule zaza. Submitted with 30 minutes to spare. Actually, 29 minutes before the deadline. <laughs> ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The civil rights activist in 1983, the poisoning of an anti-Glasnost Soviet businessman in 87. What do we know about the man who Reddington says is the next target? King, Bobby, find him and pull him into protective custody. I want to know who wants him dead. Why he thinks the travel agency was contracted to do the job. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I promised you all a haul and a haul I am here to give. First things first that I got yesterday was an extension cable. It is not here. It is in school, but that is the purpose. <laughs> Other things I got, this is it, the nail color I got yesterday. One minute. I got two nail colors from Luron. I'm currently wearing <laughs> the purple. Uh, yeah, I got this blue a few weeks ago and I was like, I need another color in this like color family. I can't call them pastels. I don't know what shades these are, but they are very, very nice. And they're not even from the same line. But when I got this one, got it on my nails, I was like, I need a purple like it. And I was also like, I need an orange because I was like, Listen, bright colors really do be popping on my skin tone. So, I got the orange and the purple from Luron. Okay, I hope that was clear. Guys, another thing I got was this stone because my feet be needing it these days. So, yeah, uh, I've never used one. I asked somebody what I should use and they were like use a stone because you have a lot of bad skin on your feet so so that's what I'm doing I got a pocket tissue nothing special um, it happens to match with the iron box that I got 
<laughs> I've been needing an iron box since I moved into this place and that was uh, November <laughs> was it November? I wait no early last year early last year yeah so yes your girlfriend has an iron box I have ironed my clothes today can you imagine usually I go home over the weekend I do my laundry and then I iron the day that I'm leaving and then I just carry my stuff folded and I make sure I maintain them throughout the week but that has failed a couple of times and yeah I've just needed an iron box. Also, it's an investment for the denim palette because oh, it's still hot and I used it like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> it's an investment for the denim palette because of late we've been taking a lot of, we've been sending a lot of orders from school. So we've, we've just been wandering around looking for irons. When I began to call, I said, Who na iron? We go to the fashion lab. Do you have an iron box? And it's just better when you have your own so yes it's very nice it's purple purple is not my favorite color it used to be when i was a kid but it matches the room <laughs> so is that it for this video oh my gosh this might be it for this video really quickly before i go i just want to show you guys um what i'm doing right now this is uh an original alphabet by your girl melissa joe um so this is part of my typography unit which is basically how do i describe typography it's basically a gameplay of letters really like using just playing around with letters and their styles and their designs really um so yeah created a whole alphabet from slippers and slides as you can see right there and yeah so there's the black and white version and then this is the colored version. I chose blue and red because your typical pata pata slippers are blue and red. And that's what I was going for. So, yeah. Really like it. Really like it. Used um, technical pens. Can I just show you the pens I used? Let me show you real quick. <laughs> this is stuff that just excites me a lot these days. used these so this is a set i used for the black and white i believe i used two of them here 0 0.2 and probably 0 0.4 i'm not so sure and then i used the blue and red from the same brand outline 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 for the red and blue so yeah this alphabet was based on a brand that my group and I created, which is called Beachwear, which, you know, essentially, well, in, in our imagination, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, if Beachwear existed, it would be selling as the name says Beachwear. So from there, I went ahead to just play around and try and make logos. Um, ended up settling on this style, but I changed a few things for the final one. And I will show you the final one on the screen right about now. And uh, yeah, that is, that is, that was basically the term project. So now with the logo, with the logo, we're going to go ahead and produce merchandise, which if I vlog my pinup, you will see it in that video. If I don't, then <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna produce merchandise with the final logos, business cards, complimentary slips, letterheads, and apparel. Yeah. So, mm, thank you guys for watching. Adios. Oh, so the reason why I was showing you. The reason I was showing you all of this is because I'm currently taking photos of this work to upload them on Google Classroom because in as much as yes, I did them a long time ago, she just opened the submission place on Google Classroom. So I want to do that before I leave for class and 